Hi everyone, this is Rachel. Today I am making a printable greeting card using the stamp sets from FromTheHeartStamps.com. I am using the free July stamp of the month and it's called Winter Friends. FromTheHeartStamps.com also runs a monthly challenge on their blog and as long as you join in the challenge each month and you create something with the stamp set of the month they will send you the next month's digital stamp image for free. I'm going to begin by coloring the snowman image using my Photoshop Copic marker color swatches. Copic markers are an alcohol based marker with tons of color shades in the same family and it makes it real easy to blend colors and get a lot of shading. Rather than opening a long list of colors, I will use a small color swatch on my screen with the particular colors that I've chosen for this image. So I'm going to begin by making sure I'm on my digital stamp image layer, choosing my magic wand selection tool and selecting the nose. I'm just going to zoom in here so I can see a little bit better. And with my nose selected, next I'm going to choose the first color which is YR04 Cadmium Orange and I'm going to fill the selection with the first of my lightest color. Next I'm going to click on the blending options and I'm going to begin to add some shading. So by selecting Inner Glow I'm going to leave the blend mode to screen, 75% opacity. I'm going to choose my second or my medium color, YR07. I'm going to change the source to center, change the size to about 200 pixels, and move over to inner shadow. I'm going to change this to linear burn. I'm going to change my color to the third and darkest Copic color, YR18. And I'm going to just change the size to about 75 pixels. Click OK. And there you have it. The carrot nose is nicely colored with a little bit of shading. Next, I'm selecting the bird. I'm going to start off with R22, my lightest color. Fill that bird with the lightest color, R22. Next, I'm going to go into blending options and begin to add the shading. So first, I'm selecting inner glow, changing the color. I'm going to use R27 as my medium color, change the source to center, and the size to about 200 pixels. Moving on to inner shadow, linear burn, and change that to the third color, R29, and click OK change the size to about 75 pixels and I also want to add feathers to the bird so I'm changing the blend mode 30 percent opacity and I'm going to leave the shingle pattern and I'm zooming in a little bit hopefully you can see a little bit of that texture on the bird So next I want to color the bird's beak and I want to make it the same colors that I used with the carrot nose. So I'm just going to call this layer beak, fill it with my lightest orange color and because I've already done the blending with the carrot nose I'm copying the layer style and pasting the layer style so that I don't have to select individually. Next I'm just moving down my color swatch out of the way it's time to fill in the um, snowman's um, buttons. I'm also going to fill in his arms. And I'm going to move up a little bit so that I can grab his headband. I'm just making sure that I expand my selection so that all of the area that I intend to grab is filled. And now I'm just going to fill that with solid black color. And there, his arms and buttons are all colored in. Now I'm going to paper piece or use a paper piece technique where I fill in the snowman's 
earmuff and his scarf with digital pattern paper. So first what I want to do is select the earmuff and I use that with my magic wand selection tool and I create a new layer by going to layer new layer via copy and when the earmuff is on its own layer I'll just rename it in the layers panel so that I know what I'm working with. Then next I'll go ahead and select the scarf and I want to zoom in here so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to select all the portions of the scarf and it's a little bit tedious going through and selecting all the portions but the results are well worth it. So here I'm pretty much finished um, selecting all the areas of the scarf and I'm going to go to layer new layer via copy and once again I'm going to just double click on it and rename the layer so that I know what I'm working with. So next it's time to pull in the pattern paper. I want to use this Argyle pattern paper. The paper comes from the Frosty Weather Digital Scrapbook Kit by Heather Roselli. And so now I'm just going to pull that paper into Photoshop and it's going to come in right above my entire project covering the screen. Now I'm going to make a, another copy of the pattern paper. So I'm going to duplicate the layer. And now I want to position one pattern paper above the earmuff and one pattern paper above the scarf. And I want to go ahead and create a clipping mask, which basically is a um, easy way to crop a paper or pattern into the shape of something else. So I want to do that twice. I do that for the scarf and then I do that, create a clipping mask for the earmuff. And there. Now my snowman has a cute little argyle pattern, earmuff and scarf to match. Now that my snowman is colored in, it's time to work on the card base. For this card, I'm using a standard 5x7 folded greeting card. This is the typical size that you'll see in your local stores. On the screen, the card base is going to be 10 inches wide by 7 inches high with a fold at 5 inches. I purchased the paper to be able to print my greeting cards on from redriverpapercompany.com and they also provide a free download of the card templates. On the right side of the screen would be will be the outside or the front of the card. And on the left side is where you can put something like a personal logo or you can put something like made with love or any cute little fancy um item, personalized item you want to put on the back. Now it's time to create our sketch. I'm using this sketch. Um, it also comes from the heartstamps.com and it's sketch number 74, I Heart Sketches. And so I'm going to put this on fast forward, add a little bit of music while I recreate the sketch in Photoshop. And once I'm done, I will come back to finish the card.
So now it's time to add my digital papers and I'm going to go and place my first dark teal paper into Photoshop and I'm going to just click OK to commit to transform and once again create a clipping mask to crop the paper. I'm just going to move on to the next layer and repeat the same steps. I'm going to use this brown with white polka dot paper and place it into Photoshop move it into position where I need it to be and right click again and create a clipping mask and I'm just gonna keep moving up the layer stack getting my third paper which is a houndstooth paper place it in Photoshop I'm gonna move that paper over and right click to create a clipping mask or to crop it into place Next, for my fishtail flag, I'm going to use the stripe paper and move that over right above the flag and create a clipping mask. So the next thing that I want to do, just to make this a little bit more realistic, is to add shadow effects to the paper layers. And I will do that to each paper layer just to give it a little bit more of dimension and so that it's not flat and seeming to just be one layer on the page. And it just gives it an extra touch when I print it. And I'm just moving up the layer stack and clicking on my shadow effects and adding it to each respective paper layer until I'm done.